Hi folks, uh, this is a little add-on, I guess, to my video that I upload for the contest. Um, so I was giving, I was giving the idea a little bit more thought, and this morning I ended up doing some sketch, a uh, few little sketches of, of Mercury, of Hessa Gels, and I just finished uh, going over them with pen. Unfortunately, it's not the good pen, so it slipped a few times, and that was fun. Um, but I thought I'd show you. Anyway, apologize. My drawing is not good, but it kind of gets the cuteness approach. And the sharp hairstyles I was mentioning, so. I don't even know what all you can see. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. You can see. So there's a big close-up of her face. And then there's one of her wearing... <clears throat> Wearing an outfit. There's... I really messed up proportions, but whatever. You get the idea. Um, and there's another one. Oh, yeah. Then there's one for hand. And there's one for blushing. And funny thing about the blushing. So, obviously, that's very anime style. Very anime style. Um, <coughs> what I came up with is that her blushing is that she actually does have, like little tubes and stuff to like light up on her face and the reason why they look like lines is because they literally look like lines because it's just tubes they're angled and they don't go over her nose it's just on both cheeks um it's very strange <laughs> and very much i kind of did her the light shine as little triangles that's just to make her look less human. Uh, typically, I use circles, so yeah. Um, this is a symbol for uh, resistance or energy. I forget the word, but I thought it'd be kind of cool for her to have something more robot-like somewhere on her. Um, so it's on her forearms which she keeps covered with gloves, fingerless gloves. They have to be fingerless because Cassie has gloves as well. Um, and I still want to keep them very visually distinct. Um, those misshaping things um, on her torso are stows. Stows are probably one of the worst things for me drawing. That and anything any animal that is not a cat. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just said cat, and my, um, and my cat, who is right next to me, looked away and out the window to see if there was another cat. There wasn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I got the idea that she has stars on her, um, because it's a futuristic story, and even though, even though none of the characters, they're the story is directly about do any sort of space travel it does exist um, that's how they got to the planet that they're on to begin with um, so I want to have some sort of interstellar reference for at least one of the characters um, so HG got it and it is actually a, a star belt yes a belt of stars um, that goes around her midsection. At least, I'm thinking midsection, it might actually wrap around her, um, but I like the idea of midsection war because, um, because if I have to do wrapping, then that involves getting more of the joints, um, more of the joints involved with it, and, yeah, that's gonna be fun to work with. Um, so it's better to kind of try and avoid it if I can. This is one of the cats. This is Hunter. <sighs> and he's keeping me company. Um, so yeah, so I think that she has the, be the belt of stars. Uh, the small star is where her belly button would be, but she's a robot, not a person, so there is no belly button. Um, Another reason why there are giant stars is to distract you from the fact that there is no belly button. Um, 
and isn't probably okay hunter hunter i'm trying to show i'm trying to show the nice people my horrible horrible drawings okay <laughs> um she is wearing a crop top um not because i actually really like crop tops um but for whatever reason i started drawing and it came out as a crop top with a like tube around the outside so that she can kind of adjust the hem um i don't know but that's what came out and it seemed appropriately futuristic slash interstellar for her to have that so i kept it and um i kind of took to drawing her mouth like a cat mouth um i don't even know why I just thought it looked really cute. Um, also because the the uh, boy and girl hair kind of has a mouth, sort of like that. Um, it's definitely not frowny, but it's not as smiley as I usually go for. So I kind of thought a cat, a cat mouth is a nice yes, cat mouth like yours. Um, a cat mouth is a nice um, compromise. Also, it looks adorable and once again makes her look not completely human. See, Hunter? You did? Yeah, yeah. I know. I know you like the paper. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's everything. Um, I also have this idea that her eyes are two different shades of the same color. Um, if only because it would be really cool to have a doll that had like, you know, like white blue eyes. Um, like LED color, um, or standard LED white, um, also known as like the color of your laptop that keeps you awake because it messes up with your uh, melatonin. Yeah, I I think it'd be kind of cool for her to have at least one eye that's more like that. Um, but I don't, I don't know. All I know is this girl's kind of a cutie. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, that's... Ah, God, give me. Oh, you have to be careful with walking there. Ah. Um, so, yep, that is... Update on... Mercury. Okay. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. Have a good St. Patrick's Day from me and from Hunter here. Do you which, Hunter, do you want to go outside and you want to hunt? you want to hunt? Or you just want to be petted? I don't know if there could be either. <laughs> Bye, everyone.